so we have learned so much in periodic trend let's do a summary of it the first trend you learned is the atomic radii and uh, remember that atomic radii increases in a group and it decreases in a period then the second thing you learned was the ionic radii ionic radii uh, cations are smaller than the neutral atom and anions are larger than the neutral atom then we have the ionization energy ionization energy decreases in a group and it increases in a period and uh, another thing there are some uh, discrepancies here for example group 2a has higher ionization energy than group 3 and group 5a uh, elements have higher ionization energy than group 6 just remember these two when you are predicting the ionization energy and the fourth one was electron affinity electron affinity decreases in a group and it increases in a period and uh, a graph is also given which tells the discrepancies in electron affinity as you go from group 1 to group 7 and of course the 8 which doesn't accept any electron then the last trend you learned was metallic character metallic character increases in a group and it decreases in a period let's do some questions uh, revision questions on atomic and ionic radii you have to identify the element or ion with larger radii in order to do these questions have a periodic table handy silicon and tin the larger one is tin because silicon and tin belong to the same group and size increases in a group barium and lead the larger one will be barium because barium and lead belong to the same period and size decreases in a period and the next one is Br minus and Rb plus and Br minus should be larger because you must always remember that anions are larger than the cations so Br minus and Rb have same number of electrons but different number of protons and the less number of protons on Br minus makes it larger. Sodium plus and sodium. Sodium will be larger because uh, neutral element is always larger than the cation. Cl minus and Cl. Cl minus will be larger as again you must remember that uh, anions are larger than the neutral element. Identify elements with higher ionization energy. Just revise the first page in which we have given you the trend in ionization energy between sodium and potassium. Uh, sodium uh, will have a higher ionization energy because ionization energy decreases in a group. Calcium and germanium. Germanium will have a, a higher ionization energy because ionization energy increases in a period. The next one is arsenic and selenium and between these two arsenic will have a higher ionization energy because arsenic and selenium if you look at the trend in 6a and 5a ionization energy of group 6a is less than that of 5a that's why I have a periodic table next to you barium and tellurium tf ba will have a higher, higher ionization energy because ionization energy of group 2a is always larger than that of 3a because of the electronic configuration 6s2 where we have to remove a paired electron hence ba has a higher ionization energy potassium plus and calcium plus i'm going to remove an electron from a positively charged and therefore this is a second ionization energy and k plus is stable after losing one electron and hence to remove one electron from k plus we will need more energy silver and cadmium cadmium will have a ionization, higher ionization energy because we have again another discrepancy here ionization energy of group 2b will be greater than ionization energy of group 1b you can for your reference i have given the electronic configuration also and the electronic configuration of cadmium you have to remove an electron from a paired s orbital copper plus and zinc plus copper plus will have a higher ionization energy because copper plus after losing one electron will have a stable configuration 
So there are some questions on higher electron affinity. Identify elements with higher electron affinity. Fluorine and Br. And of course, fluorine is the answer. We know that electron affinity decreases in appearance. And fluorine is one element which has the largest electron affinity, being in the right side, the most corner of the uh, periodic table. Sodium and sulfur. Sulfur has a higher electron affinity because electron affinity increases in a period. Basically, sodium prefers to lose an electron than to accept one. Phosphorus and silicon. Silicon will have a higher electron affinity. The reason is electron affinity of group 4A is greater than the electron affinity of 5A. You can refer to the graph over there. And um, potassium and calcium. Potassium will have a higher electron affinity because potassium and calcium, uh, again we have a discrepancies where uh, electron affinity of group 1A will be greater than the electron affinity of 2A. You can look at the graph over there. Cl minus and O minus. Uh, o minus because Cl minus will not accept one more because Cl minus is more stable. Bromine and uh, arsenic, Br and arsenic, Br will have a higher electron affinity because electron affinity increases in a period. Finally, we will do the trend in metallic character. Identify elements with larger metallic character. And fluorine and iodine. Iodine is the answer because you know metallic character increases in a group. So remember the two trends. Metallic character increases in a group and it decreases in a period. Sodium and phosphorus. Sodium is the answer because metallic character uh, decreases in a period. So uh, the next one is calcium and copper. Calcium and copper belong to the same period and therefore calcium will be the answer as metallic character decreases in a period. And the uh, next one will be Manganese and Re and between these two, the Re will, be, will ha have a higher metallic character. The reason being metallic character increases in a group and then uh, oxygen and neon and metallic character decreases in a period. Therefore, oxygen is more metallic than uh, neon. Of course, both of them are gases, but comparatively, if you see where they are in the periodic table, you will say oxygen is the answer. Magnesium and chlorine, obviously magnesium, because magnesium belongs to group 2 and chlorine belongs to group 7. So in order to answer all these things, always have a periodic table handy. And uh, boron and gallium, in between these two, gallium uh, has a higher, uh, larger metallic character, because metallic character increases in a group.